Well, George, many congratulations on such a, a resounding victory and a statement victory as well. Yeah, I think there wasn't too much difference uh, apart from a couple of sloppy, sloppy moments in the game first half. I thought we applied ourselves well and really showed what we were about today. Uh, I think it's been coming. You know, in those in those games we were disappointed and not picking up points. You know, you could see the intent was there, and on other days we we win those games. So I think it was coming. You know, a game at Bramall Lane, um, getting the crowd on their feet and, and scoring loads of goals. So absolutely delighted for the goal scorers, especially Robbo. Obviously, he was disappointed with the first goal, but that happens. You know, um, I thought he was brilliant in the week and. And also today, apart from that one error, and you know, fully deserved uh, his goal. Yeah, it's been quite the uh, few games for that type of thing. Adam uh, Davis made a mistake, comes back, pulls off several tremendous saves. The mistake there comes back, scores a cracking goal. Yeah, well, we're, you know, football's a team sport, and uh, you know, you rely on others to to dig you out. You know, we can make a mistake further up the pitch and and get away with it. Um, unfortunately for for Davo and and for Robbo in those instances, you know, they're the last men back back and. You know, we, they got punished, but, you know, just shows the kind of character the lads have got um, to bounce back. And, you know, Davo saves the penalty, he's a hero in that game, and, and Robbo today, so made up for him. Also in today's performance, the manner of the goal showed a lot about Sheffield United's strength at set pieces in creating havoc at a penalty area. Yep, um, I was injured for the game, but it just reminded me of that QPR game last year away. It was just wave and wave uh, of set play after... After, um, you know, attack after attack and, you know, delighted because we work a lot on that. And, um, you know, we've been a bit sloppy from set plays recently and, and shot ourselves in the back, uh, shot ourselves in the foot, sorry. So it's, um, you know, it's it's really good feeling to, to put all that together and, and put pressure on the opposition. What does it mean to you guys that you have a front two in the form that McBurney and, and Jai are right now? Well, obviously it makes our lives a lot easier. Sometimes with Illiman, you just, you know, I'm just on the pitch standing there admiring him. I think he's... Oh, I'm running out of running out of words to describe the lad. Um, you know, fantastic pro, one of the hardest workers I've I've come across, and such a down to earth lad. And Ollie McBurney, as everyone knows, being around the training ground, he's such a popular lad. And you know, everyone stuck by him, and I think he deserves great credit because the attitude he's shown this year. Um, you know, hitting the gym all the time. You know, he's 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 been a he's been a model professional, and you know, the results now are, are proven. And he's uh, he's scoring. He looks like he's going to score every week, and I think that's the sign of um, a great striker. But not just that, though. We've got you know we've got other strikers that you know Billy Sharp, top goal scorer in Championship. You've got Reader. Didn't get on today. You know we've got an abundance of attacking flair, and you know it's just uh, like I said, makes our life a lot easier. And the uh, the quest to be top going into the World Cup now looks a little bit more of an easier challenge given where you are in the table. Yeah, but you don't get promoted being in the top two. You know, going into a World Cup, um, obviously we want to be there. Um, we want to be there all season. Like I've said in in interviews before, you know, we want to be the hunted. And uh, you know, we we've shown that we we can hunt other teams down. Um, but like I said, we'd be, we'd be far more comfortable when we're top of the table. And uh, you know, that's our aim. Just finally, you know, I'm lucky enough to do lots of f footballer interviews, and clubs are always reticent sometimes to talk about what their ambitions are. But the, this squad seems quite relaxed with being one of the favourites for the division. In fact, we're quite enjoying that. Yeah, I think you, I think you, you know, you look around the change room, and you, like I said, you see a, you see an abundance of of talent. And I think you know, if you were in our dressing room, you'd you'd be wrong not to have those aspirations to get promoted. Up. I'm not saying it's going to be easy at all. It's going to be very difficult. It's going to be a slog, and we're going to have patches like we've shown before. But as long as we can stay consistent with our performances, um, we'll have a great chance. And I think Ollie, Ollie Norwood alluded to it in the week, and I think Hecky spoke about Norwich as well. I think you know if you if you finish above those two, you, you'll have a great chance. So um, you know we're, we're doing all right at the minute. We're not. We haven't got as many points as we want to. And that's me being honest. Um, you know, but we've um, like I said, shown great character and bounced back from from a bit of a difficult patch.